The British government is, is running through a very detailed examination of the balance of competences between national governments and the European Union from a British perspective. This will be 33 papers on everything from animal welfare to transport to the free movement of persons, uh, and we're doing this over two years. I hope it will provide a very sound, evidence-based uh, foundation for a more informed debate. Well, there's a range of sceptics about Europe. There are those who are, have some doubts about the way Brussels works, don't like the Brussels bubble and its belief that the more things are organised from Brussels, uh, the better. Um, and one can discuss with them as to what we have to do with other European countries and what we should appropriately do ourselves. Then there are the Europhobes who believe that there's a conspiracy against the honest Englishman and that foreigners are involved in this and that Brussels is the centre of that conspiracy. And that, of course, is a deeply emotional and irrational attitude uh, which is shared by nationalists in France, Austria, uh, the Netherlands and elsewhere, sadly. The coalition government passed an act in 2011 which said that the next time uh, there is a substantial transfer of power from the United Kingdom to the European Union, we will have a referendum. My party has committed itself to saying that when that happens, uh, the, the question should be, do we want to stay inside the European Union as reformed or do we want to leave? Because that's the simplest and clearest question. Uh, what we don't know is when uh, such substantial treaty change may or may not be presented over the next few years.